Hi, I'm Nate from Blackline Audio. I'm here at AMS to talk about the MicroClock Mark II. This is one of the oldest products that Black Lion still has available. Um, what it is, is it's a master word clock. Uh, it's a very simple design. It's in a four inch by six inch uh, chassis, uh, very rugged for um, you know live sound situations where it's being thrown in with a bunch of other gear, things like that. Uh, it has three BNC outputs and uh, this is basically a multiplier. So what you have on this side is uh, your bass frequency, which is gonna be either 44.1 or 48. So it's down for 44.1, up for 48. And then you come over here and you have far left is just multiplied by one. You have multiplied by two in the center and then far right is multiplied by four. So with that, you get 44.1 to 192 kilohertz sample rates. Um, and the reason for an external master clock uh, in terms of functionality is that it syncs a bunch of digital audio devices together. It gets all the converters firing at the same time in your studio. So that might translate as um, taking care of sync issues between devices if you're getting pops and clicks, uh, that sort of stuff. But we've also found that depending on the device that you're reclocking and depending on the quality of that device's internal clock and external word clock can improve the sound quality um, of an external device. So what that translates as is um, if you have a recording interface with a word clock BNC input on it, um, and you re-clock it with an external word clock, if that external word clock is a higher quality clock signal, so lower jitter clock signal than the internal clock that's in the recording interface, and that recording interface's phase lock loop, which is the way it basically syncs its internal clock with an external clock signal, is uh, updating often enough that it benefits uh, to, or it benefits from the external word clock signal coming in, you can actually improve your conversion quality. So the sampling will be more accurate for both A to D and D to A conversion. And over the course of about 11 years now, we've uh, actually found that in certain situations, an external word clock does make a huge difference um, in terms of audio quality on certain devices and that others have what we call a um, brick wall PLL. Uh, where it basically just sandboxes the external clock signal. That PLL isn't actually refreshing enough to benefit from the lower jitter clock signal and therefore you don't hear an improvement uh, in audio quality. So that's why there's a lot of um, debate about whether an external word clock makes a difference or not. The answer is it can, it sometimes does, it oftentimes does, but not always. So what a better clock signal often translates as is you're getting rid of phase noise that oftentimes affects the high end frequency response of your converter. So if you're talking about D to A conversion, um, it actually results, a bad internal clock results in phase cancellations in the high end. So when you re-clock to a higher quality external clock, uh, and that PLL is actually able to receive the benefit of that external clock, you'll hear in your uh, playback that it also sounds like there's more top end, there's more space, you can hear reverb tails better, um, there's more depth overall, and your imaging just feels locked, like if you're you know, you have a lead vocal that's center. Uh, it just sits dead center now. It's not smeared across that stereo stage anymore. Um, and we've also heard quite a bit from people that have bought our external word clocks that they feel that the low end actually, everything's less smashed together now. Like there's more room for everything to breathe. So their low end feels bigger as well. Um, so that's, that's how an, a better external clock translates in terms of audio quality. So check this product out and other Blackline Audio products at AmericanMusical.com.